Configuring and deploying an operating system can take a lot of time and resources. That's why Red Hat Enterprise Linux provides built-in automation to help. My name is Brian Smith, and I'm a product manager at Red Hat. Today I'm going to demo how the T-Log RHEL system role can help you implement RHEL terminal session recording across your environment. Session recording allows you to record and playback user terminal sessions in RHEL. RHEL system roles are a collection of supported Ansible roles that can help you automate and manage your RHEL environment, ensuring consistent and repeatable configuration. In today's video, I'll be focusing on the T-Log system role. This role can implement terminal session recording across your environment. You can specify which users and groups are recorded, or simply record all users. The T-Log role supports RHEL 8 managed nodes. Our demo environment consists of a RHEL 8 control node named controlnode.example.com, and three managed nodes, all of which are running RHEL 8. My desired session recording configuration in the environment is to record terminal sessions for all users on these three managed nodes. If you'd like information on how to limit which users or groups are recorded, refer to the blog post linked in the description below for an example of how this can be done using the T-Log RHEL system role. Now that we've outlined the demo environment and our desired configuration, let's get into the demo. I'm logged into my RHEL 8 control node where I have previously installed the RHEL system roles RPM and the Ansible engine RPM. I've also set up a service account named Ansible on the control node and manage nodes that I'll use. For more information on these steps, refer to the Introduction to RHEL System Roles blog post that is linked in the video description. Each role has a readme file that outlines the role variables that can be used. I'll start by looking at the readme file for the T-Log role, which is available at user share doc rel system roles t-log readme.md. The readme specifies the role variables that can be used. In the example today, we'll be setting the t-log underscore scope underscore sssd variable to all to indicate that all users should have their sessions recorded. There's also an example playbook at the bottom of the readme file. Within the t-log directory, we'll start by taking a look at the inventory.yaml file. Here I have defined an inventory group named t-log record all users, which contains all three of my managed nodes. Within the group vars directory, I have a t-log record all users.yaml file that defines Ansible variables that will apply to the three hosts in the t-log record all users inventory group. In this file, I set the t-log scope sssd variable to all to indicate that all users should have their sessions recorded. Next, we'll take a look at the t-log.yaml playbook file, which simply runs the t-log role on my three hosts in the t-log record all users inventory group. I can run this playbook with the ansible-playbook command specifying I would like to run the tlog.yaml playbook, utilize the inventory.yaml file, and specify the minus b argument to indicate that ansible should escalate privileges. The tlog role will ensure that the required packages are installed and then implement the configuration based on the role variables. I'll pause the video here and come back once the playbook is completed. Okay, the playbook successfully completed. To validate, I'll log into the RHEL 8 Server 1 host as the Brian user account and confirm that I receive a notification that my session is being recorded. Well, thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Red Hat Enterprise Linux, start your free trial today at redhat.com/tryrel.